Dobar dan. Se čuje ovo. Good morning. On behalf of the several institutions, above all the Institute for Philosophy and Social Theory, but also the Center for Ethics, Law and Applied Philosophy and the Center for Advanced Studies, South East Europe, and also as one of the founders of this institute's group for social engagement studies, I would like to welcome you all and to Belgrade and to this conference. This is the second conference the group for social engagement has organized, the first being here, the one of Michel Foucault last year, and certainly the actual organizer, organizers of this event are Adriana, Anna, Gazela, Jelena, Marian, Igor, Srđan, Igor, Mark, Aleksandar i Tamara. We came up We came up with a topic together. Igor Kratolica wrote the conference notes that begin with the ingenious, as ever, reworking of famous sentence, ceci n'est pas un colloque sur le capitalisme. This is not a conference on capitalism. Jean-Luc Gester had the grace and goodwill with which we had the help of Nadine Umbrecht, for which I thank her, to make the Institut Francais our partner in this endeavor. This project on the crisis or end or reflections on capitalism was financed by various governments and foundations for which we are very grateful. For us to work together for a few days in order to be at the same time and place and we are here in this same place again, thanks to the generosity of Jasna Dimitrievich, the director of the Kolarac Foundation, and Ksenija Špader Tufegdžić. We had the help of Nada Popović Perišić and Simona Žikić, Faculty of Foreign Media and Communication, Gordana Delić, the Balkan Trust for Democracy, Anna Manojlović and Heinz Albrecht, Albert Hutmacher, Friedrich Hebert Stiftung, Matthias Müller-Wieferig and Sunchica Zido, Goethe Institute, Andreas Poltermann and Paula Petric, Heinrich Böll Stiftung, Olivera Stosic, Kulturni Center Beograda, Anna Boris and Kruno, Rosa Luxemburg Stiftung, Ministry of Education, Science and Technological Development of the Republic of Serbia, as well as three foundations always close to the Institute and the group and the Center for Advanced Studies, Erste Stiftung, Open Society Foundations, and of course, Hedwig Morvai and the European Fund for the Balkans. I would like to thank to especially to Natasha Nastic and Zorica Nedeljkov, without whom neither the group, nor the institute, nor I, nor you would be here today. It seems to me, when hearing all these names, that it would make sense to wonder why women think beyond capitalism why they believe or do not believe in capitalism, and whether capitalism is perhaps an essentially female issue. Does this country, but not only this one, any country similar to this undergoing transition, house a particularly aggressive and brutal form of capitalism to which women are far more sensible? Further, why is it interesting to reflect on capitalism and does reflection on the end or crisis of capitalism actually regenerate and stabilize its disrupted structures? More precisely, are there even any protocols for reflection or speculation, if you will, that essentially do not belong to the capitalist register? Protocols that create something new, something beyond capitalism or counter capitalism? How can we precisely and carefully, meticulously, without fantasies and foolery, here today think and announce something entirely new? Before I ask Jean-Luc Gester to speak before you, I would like to mention four difficulties regarding capitalism. The first is my own personal difficulty. I thought that if I mention in detail today all these names of people who are he present, and if I thank them deeply, that I can then 
find a register that has nothing to do with reciprocity, with exchange and capital, factual or symbolic. This is a mistake. When I thank you all for your thanking your work or your money, enabling this event to take place, I'm already in the marketplace, I'm already beginning to return what has been given to me, and I already expect more from you. Indeed, when I say to you all thank you, let's forget the French merci comes from Merces, the market, marketplace. I have begun to return the favor and also remove the debt I feel towards all of you. Yet also, in this same thank you, I am hereby announcing the next third, third conference of the Group for the Social Engagement Studies of the Institute for Philosophy and Social Theory next year. Rest assured, assured I will be sending you all a new application and project suggestion very shortly. Does such an action not surpass the economy and does it not belong to what Aristotle called kremastikos, ta kremata? When we speak of capitalism, are we not referring to the accumulation of goods, accumulation for the sake of accumulation, for the sake of accumulation, a great reserve and depot, repository, and not simply the economy? The second difficulty refers to the determination and origin of the word capitalism. The word capitalism has no ent entry in litre or other great dictionaries, and according to Lucien Fevre, the 1939, it was made in Germany at the turn of 20th century. It is truly complicated to determine whether this word refers to interest or borrowing money or a money found or money in general. The third difficulty concerns the way in which people are organized, brought and bound together, speak to one another, work together and pass the time. Speaking of the end or the crisis of capitalism supposes the ability to show these ways and forms as obsolete and some other new possibilities that surpass inequality, injustice or competition, perhaps even beyond democracy. This is an extremely difficult task to execute. Thank you once again, and now I invite Jean-Luc Gester, the director of the Institut Français. Institut Français, je vais parler en français, avec votre permission. Euh, et d'abord, saluer tout le monde, euh, comme Pétard. Euh, remercier tous nos invités qui ont fait le voyage de loin, parce que je comprends qu'il y a ici toute l'Europe. Euh, Remercier Pétard de cette excellente initiative euh, d'organiser ce colloque. Euh, nous avons tous ici le souvenir euh, de la belle aventure du séminaire Foucault, qui nous a réunis aussi euh, à la fin de l'année 2014. Et je voudrais dire la fierté de l'Institut français euh, d'avoir pu organiser avec euh, euh, l'Institut de philosophie et de théorie sociale cette rencontre. Alors, j'ai pris rapidement connaissance de l'ambitieux programme de ce colloque, dans ce que, déjà à Belgrade, tout le monde appelle le petit livre rouge. Et je me demande si on ne peut pas euh, en résumer les propos sous la forme d'une alternative, qui est la question de savoir, euh, est-ce que le capitalisme qui vient sera aussi inégalitaire et instable moteur des mêmes déchaînements que ceux qu'il a provoqués au XXe siècle et jusqu'à aujourd'hui, trouvant euh, notre impuissance face au dérèglement de la finance, aux rémunérations individuelles inouïes, au déferlement des inégalités et à la destruction du travail, ou bien si nos sociétés, nos démocraties, trouveront suffisamment de force pour prendre le dessus dompter les excès de ce capitalisme sans toutefois le terrasser, puisque je comprends des propos liminaires de cette brochure que l'on peine à lui trouver des solutions de remplacement. Ce que d'ores et déjà on peut retirer des premières rencontres, et je pense notamment à celle qui a eu lieu hier soir à l'Institut français, c'est le doute immense sur le caractère autorégulé 
euh, de cette machine qui nous mène, selon euh, l'analyse de plusieurs euh, intervenants, tout droit au désastre, un désastre probablement multiforme et dont la dimension écologique ne sera sans doute pas la dernière. Aussi, je nous souhaite vivement que vous aboutissiez à formuler le principe d'un capitalisme repensé dans ses fondements, plus pacifique et plus durable, de manière à ce que samedi, on puisse annoncer à la presse que vous avez mis fin aux paradis fiscaux, inventé des taux d'imposition dissuasifs contre les rémunérations insensées et des mécanismes de prévention des crises financières. Plus sérieusement, je vous souhaite, en attendant d'excellents travaux, je me réjouis que cette rencontre ait lieu à Belgrade, ce qui confirme une fois de plus, s'il en était besoin, que cette ville est un point de connexion essentiel dans les réseaux de la pensée et du savoir en Europe. Je vous remercie. Je recède la parole à Pétard. Lectures will be recorded by Marilea Pudar and Dusan Boschkovic. You certainly have not have the possibility here no have, have the possibility to bar us from publishing the recording on the internet should you so wish. I assume that uh, many of you remember a very famous quote from the poverty of philosophy, the Salem de philosophie from 1847, where Karl Marx speaks in detail of the end of a terrible era, the era of capitalism. 170 years ago, Marx defines his own era, an era of corruption and universal venality. Allgemeinen Korruption der universellen Kauflichkeit. I do not know if you have noticed, probably not, but in the conference program and three pages notes for the conference, the author of which is Nikola Stevanovic, for which we are all thankful, there is no year given. It is not just that this too is the era of universal corruption and that reflecting on capitalism is always current. But in this way, we announce new event such as this one. We are sorry not to have with us, among others, Wolfgang Streck, Lisa Herzog, Thomas Piketty, Klaus Hoffe, Dominique Levy, Philip Kitcher, Philip Petit, or Esther Duflo, all of whom could not attend the conference this June. This simply means that, is, that it is the time for a new conference, probably next June. I now call Alexander Matkovic and our first speaker for today, Gerard Dumenil.